so nice. Look right there, so. off the grid in the remote and wild Canadian rainforest for three years now. I can remember walking our forest on day one and thinking in my brain, how are we ever going to create a home amongst this thick, dense forest? I didn't let that out on the outside, but that's what I was thinking on the inside. We want to thank you all for being a part of this adventure in video form and in comments. If you notice in each video title, we always put the episode number so that you guys, when you're watching the back, can watch in order, and we're hoping this was helpful to you. But we now have so many of you just discovering our videos, and we don't want you to have to go back and watch over 150 episodes in order to catch yourselves up to the present. Unless you want to. <laughs> <laughs> so we put together this video compilation of what we think are the main projects we built and completed together since 2019 when we started to live here at Como Rebbe. All right, so sit back, skip around, and this one video will catch you up in three years of work all the way up to present day as we now are bringing you up to date and giving birth to our first baby and becoming a family of three. So please throw us a question or a positive comment down below and we'll see you guys in a couple days for our first new video showing our pregnancy or possibly our baby and our new off-grid property here in the tropics and how we plan on traveling between both properties without using gasoline. While living off the grid in the Canadian wilderness for three years now, we realized our ability to cook and prepare food is crucial to our health and survival. To do this, we have found that our knives are our most important tool. Our Kamikoto knives are turning the plants, fruits, and ocean life we grow, forage for, and harvest into healthy human bodies, which is especially important now as Nicole and I are feeding our new baby. With the Kampeki knife set, Chukabochu cleaver, and Kiro series knife set, we now have a knife for every occasion and every food in our kitchen. Our Kiro series knife set includes a seven inch Santoku knife, a six and a half inch Nakiri knife, and a five inch utility knife. Our razor sharp Kamikoto knives are helping us stay self-sufficient by preparing all our own meals with nutrient dense, locally grown food crucial as Nicole is now in her final trimester of pregnancy. We keep that razor's edge on all our knives using the Kemikoto Toishi Whetstone, which has a 1,000 and 3,000 grit side for getting that traditional and high quality edge on your knives. Each Kemikoto knife is made with Japanese Honshu steel, is individually inspected, and has a lifetime guarantee. Each knife goes through a 19-step process and is used by Michelin-starred chefs all over the world. The Ashwood box the knives come in makes a great gift and you can use code Jake and Nicole when checking out to receive an extra $50 discount. Click the link below the video to receive or give as a gift the same knives and whetstone that we're using. In 2018, Jake and I traveled to 15 countries over the course of a year. Afterwards, we converted a Delica van to be a sleeper, rented a U-Haul, and packed up all of our belongings in both vehicles. And it's actually, hello. It's actually not a mattress. It's a top cover. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it's perfect. It's really sturdy. Well, here we are in our new van bed. We've got all of our blankets, pillows, everything. It's perfect. Adios, guys. Ah, my buzzing. <laughs> We drove as far as the road went and then got on a boat and moved to our new property. 
a wild, raw wilderness property in the middle of the Canadian rainforest with over 20 feet of rain a year, and cougars, wolf, bear, orca, and salmon everywhere. Got the propane down there, bringing some fire down below. We got some nice veg going on with the veg pepper. You do? And they always say it's better to like have your feet up like this to help bowel movements go easier, I guess. I don't know. Come on. There you go. Second try. <laughs> because this whole area was cleared like 40 years ago and all these trees have grown up in the last half century. So everything's overgrown. The road is still there. And I took a little journey to the unknown. Holy darkness got a hold on me. Measured out the frame with these logs. Once we were done with the frame, it was time to take a break and have some dinner. So Jake made a fire. Put all the spices in, but just I uh, want to show you guys the first Dutch oven experience here. This dude's going to have red lentils, bok choy, onions, potatoes, carrots. Meal, Dutch oven style, cast iron with a real fire. I'm eating them like crazy. Mmm, I could smell it. A half peanut butter and a half chocolate, so... Oh my god. <laughs> okay, give us a... Fine. It's kind of dark, getting a little laid out. I'm so excited and I'm really excited because this means we get to start the yurt. I'm really jazzed about that. That's right. That's beautiful. So the alders are kind of like the archers that are the first line of this puma scratching posts or bear dens. Like, no human has been here before. Like, this is definitely... There is a serious root mass from old logging days that's sprouted up again. Check it out. Trees that have been here forever, like, like Fern Gully. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that movie, but it makes me think of Fern Gully. A nice looking fire. Thank you. I got breakfast for you. Awesome. 
That's so cool, you're trying to save the moss. Oh yeah, moss is like gold. <laughs> I have a bucket for it right here. So I'm just- On the ground in the new location, but you're gonna preserve it and try to- Yeah, cause I mean, we'll, we'll like, we'll, we're losing, look, I've clicked this- You got it. Good job. Thanks. These that we thought might create a threat to our yurt. Special shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for all the help. Straight to work. We had to make some wooden horses to help us cut the lumber better. And then the low point, that's where the three feet's gonna be, and as it goes higher up ground, the gap will get less. And I took a look. Now the dark has got a hold on me. La, 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 who I was. Follow me. Trying to do work. It is hailing right now. It's hailing on oh us. Shit. Look, it's bouncing off the beams. Oh my god! Can the camera even pick it up? Look. <laughs> you want my hat? Look, it's bouncing this off your is head. Insane! Oh my god! Ow! It like got me in the eye.
They feel for real. They feel good. I like them. Cool. They look good on you. Yeah. Super cute on you, yeah. I just need to break them in a little bit. And then this is what we have left. Not very much guys, it's less than half. day here on Blackfish Hollow, Jake and I finally finished the yurt platform. Before getting started on the yurt, we had a couple training sessions on it and then got straight to studying the yurt manual. Okay, platform. Platform. So like right, hold your hands right there. That looks center like right there. Okay. I mean, my bones. I fucked with Okay, no, you gotta hold the glitter real steady. Get ready to flex. like empowering like we worked so hard on this stupid platform and now we can actually like get the yurt out we've been staring at this for so long i don't know how to describe the feeling i'm feeling right now well first of all this is really awesome <laughs>
excited. Oh my god. Here, pull this over. It's like Christmas. <laughs> Christmas in it. It's just an early birthday present for you. Oh, it smells so good. Wait, what was that? It smells so good. Yeah. It would. Oh my god. Pacific Yurts for an amazing packing job. Seriously, Pacific Yurts. Look at this! This is so nice, babe. You like the screen? It's so nice. Like, look at this. This is a really freaking nice. I didn't know it came with a screen. I know. Now we can have the, the door open all the time and no bugs. We have keys to our house. <laughs> We haven't had keys to like. Oh shit! It's broken. Oh, <laughs> we have a home. We have keys to a home that's actually yeah. ours, not just for like the, an Airbnb. Or... For the first time in a year and a half. A year and a half. You're all teary eyed. <laughs> French doors before. Babe. Wow. I got you. Oh, you did. I thought I had it. It's gonna be like. Oh my god. Pretty much that's gonna go right there. Okay, so what are you doing? I'm just standing behind you holding the tail up on the ladder. Are you safe or what? Yes, I'm safe. Okay. Just you, focus on you. Oh, man. And just getting it up over that lip.
Wow, that looks incredible. Did it work? No, because it's a spiral. What should we do? We should do that. <laughs> okay. Let's do that is it. All we're gonna do is we're gonna just it's not gonna get tangled. Just tent it up against the the yurt. Don't let go. Okay. Do not let go. I'm not gonna let go. Past the yeah, perfect. There it goes. Officially closed in. The stick that Pacific Yurts provided us so that from the ground we can just insert the stick into this uh, little slot here and Ended now. <laughs> Thank you.
I'll make the bed really quick one. Smile and go slow, smile and laugh and just flow, laugh and pray and do right, pray and shake it all night. So we'll use it beyond the yurt, but for the next like two, three weeks, now we have a place for all of our dishes and cooking and stuff. This is like sturdy. This is not going anywhere. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. Wow. I like the way that the yurt looks. That isn't technically ours, but it is ours. Yeah, so we're sharing the harvest, I guess, um, with locals. So it's their bed, but our bed. Tree trimming going on. Oh, I, I thought you meant someone was actually behind us. Yeah, it's a Sasquatch. <laughs> home come alive.
I was a toddler on a horse outside a small town grocery store, begging for a for from my mother. She picked me up and said, Now, now, the day we get one time around, and that's how this poem my father. We ply those precious oars, listening to footsteps near the door, too glowing and was trying not to catch fire. How do I stand still on this quarter carousel? green and foliage because we cut down everything that was growing in this swamp and it's kind of dried up right now but believe me in the winter time and the springtime this was standing water and it was even there was even some movement to it and like I'm sinking a good few inches I think it's done though I think if anything happens now... The road we went to load up the stove. <laughs> we did it! Yeah! And hey, what type? <laughs> I feel so bad for him and there's really nothing I can do to help. Um, so our good neighbor Julian came up and said that they're giving away a bunch of firewood, um, big like big massive stumps and he didn't want them, no one else wanted them, so Julian asked us if we did, and of course, because we don't really have a firewood pile, I mean, we have a little bit of firewood, um, but we're so busy with other things. Of logs. <laughs> so I will be just drying these out, and uh, I'll be just cutting them into nice firewood pieces as we need it. Sponge washed it and got it kind of clean and the grout's looking pretty nice. And the tile's been drying now for... Okay. Oh, crap, the tile. No way. Just kidding. That's not even funny. Haha, <laughs> psych! That sucks. I win. You don't win nothing. You lose. <laughs> inside that elbow and tell me I knew no rescue would come then I wrote one more half hour to try pretty and pretty and shitty and high the whole things that go on is canal and this is gonna go into the coupler
this were to be the video. brought you some firewood. Oh, why, thank you. You're welcome. outside right here this is amazing how does it feel like on your skin now warm <laughs> yeah warm and cozy and and then like the color of the yurt is soft it's like soft warm cozy uh -huh. it's very nice like, it just makes me think of my childhood and I know it makes you think of your childhood and I was telling Jake today that I grew up always going to my grandparents' house and they lived up in the mountains and they had a wood burning stove. So when we got this, I was like, whoa, I'm really in the mountains. Like I'm really out here. Off you just the associate grid. wood stove with mountains. Yeah. Hey, so super apology to the audience for any kind of wind noise. We forgot our dead cat for the mic, but yeah, it's a little... lots of animals we're seeing so far. Yeah, like so there's like this beautiful island right here. And then we were seeing like eagles over here scooping up fish. <laughs> yeah, not too cold, right? falling asleep on your lap. There you are. He'll do okay. I think he looks really tired and really nauseous. Mm -hmm. That's how I looked in Kauai when I did the boat on the ocean. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So this one is Got a little shorter hair, and that one's more fluffy. <laughs> we were taking a picture. Oh my god, look, she's like holding, he's holding his face. Mm -hmm. Oh, with his paws. With his paws. 
And this one's like ready to party. He's like, oh, no, not anymore. <laughs> he was ready to party before. One is ginseng, and which one is reishi? This one is ginseng, and uh -huh. this one is reishi. God. So, Jin and Ray. Yeah. They they're just ready, woke up. They're, they're ready to play. Ready to play. They've been sleeping for like three hours. Yeah. Ten weeks old. I'm curious what happens if I put one there and one there. Let's see what happens. First time up. So now we're gonna go back here to like a blue belt. living off grid as we harvest trees to mill our own wood to use on furniture, deck, and upcoming log cabin. <laughs> All right, so there's all the legs that Nicole. What do you think about, that's the first layer of the shelf. Ooh, that looks great. You like it? Oh my God. The thickness is okay? It is perfect. Zoom in. The thickness and length is okay for you? Yeah, turn it. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that sexy piece of wood. <laughs> the kind of camo was in with the lattice wall. We have a bookshelf. Put them so no. <laughs> Yes. You look really cute. Thank you. Uh, see the flowers there? Those are like... These ones are here. A lot of other berries are coming for the next wave of the summer, but if you um, keep going deeper into the bush there, look underneath, like crouch down and look under. Oh, There's two ripe ones in there. there. Yeah. These are in there. We have thimble berries and salmon berries so far. Different kinds of salmon berries here. Hopefully we'd be finding some raspberries. I don't know if the black cap raspberries are... Actually warm enough for me to throw them in foot. Nice. As long as we keep walking, no bugs can get us. Lighter ones, the ones that are in transition. These are all right and really incredible. Behind the thimble berry is the... Easily 95% of them still weren't ripe yet. So this is the very beginning of the season, but these guys are so delicious. And I think between the thimble berries, additional raspberries and Logan berries that were growing in the community garden, um, it's really cool how all the
what are our tasks for the day? To train these cats to become black belts. <laughs> For now, I just um, made some pickles. Where to go? Switch legs. water for the time being. Look at this. Woohoo! A while ago for the shelf and we just kind of securely fastened it down to this and then now 
we kind of have running water. It's really good and I love what the tapestry did and that hanging plant. And then we have our mirror, which is so nice to be able to have a mirror. Hey guys. Don't miss the next episode of Jake and Nicole Living Off Grid. <laughs> Breaking through today and I honestly need to get my knife. So I'll go back and decurrent. So they're actually part of the mushroom. There's a uh, mace. Mm -hmm. We got machete. We got mushroom knives. This is an enormous tree. I'm using my cool graphing knife. It's pretty good. These look really good. They do. Apparently, like in Germany, these are like... Think you trust it? Um, okay, strike is like the pose. Oh, yeah, there you go. It's out there. Oh, snap. We are in the light. It's cool to see the dome so close, don't you think? Yeah, but we're gonna have a railing right here. So, yeah, it's out there. Oh my gosh, it's not secure yet. Babe. Let's um, cut our losses here and come on down. It's looking good. What is? <laughs> that was a pain in the ASS. <laughs> in Tibet when I was on the India Tibet board. <laughs> I thought you said mountain lion. lion. Is that natural enough for you? Yeah. What do you think? It's cute. Temporary. Yeah. Is it Pinteresty? Yep. Okay. Good night. the 
supports that are deck level down the center. So it's very supported, so it's very strong. And do you want it wider? No, I think that's funny. I think 12 by 8 is perfect. To brace it. You should name this bear. I say karma. All right, I don't have a name. But what do you guys say in the comments? Because maybe I'll we'll take no name bear. That'd be good. Have the YouTube audience vote, and whoever gets the most votes. So DM us on Instagram. Vote in the comments down below. Whatever name we see the most of, we'll name our new black bear friend. To your left. Don't move there. Okay, I'm going to ninety. Behind the scenes. Watch it, watch the base. Nice. You were right. We did it. Your idea worked. Super smart. So this is our bedroom. It's super warm up here. Since the wood burning stove is going, all of the heat is rising. So it's like really toasty up here. We just have a bunch of storage right now, still kind of working out the kinks of where we want everything to go, but it's cool up here. And eventually we're... That's the first time I've seen it on camera. It looks good. You look good. I love this outfit today. Thank you.
I'm excited. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's gross. No, just clean the pipes out. We have water! Yay! Look at it, it's actually really nice. Do you like that? Yeah, it's getting cleaner. Nice, it's clean now, yeah? Yeah. Woohoo! Okay, can I just cut this last piece? Yeah. Hi. Do you think that you can... Then you escape? And then hook it back up. Mm -hmm. I can. Oh, I can hear it boiling. Nice work. Okay. Bye. Dinner's almost ready. Okay, cool. Anyways, this is a 12 volt battery that we've had charged in the sun all day uh, with the solar panels, and we've got the positive to positive, negative to negative. And What do you think? Have to nail it in, right? What do you think about them? I think they look awesome. I mean, like from the top? Games. <laughs> okay, let's play. And we can't use full power yet until we burn the rest of these. Uh... Yeah. Oh. <sighs> oh. Still pretty good. Three, two, one. <laughs> Thank you so much. Great to meet you. You have a great place out here. Yeah. They're They're really going for it. They love this. balls in my gravy and I think we're gonna do these separate but we have the angel wings which are so beautiful they're so white they look like a chanterelle but they're white and they grow on a log but okay. And then Rachi is over here like this. <laughs> That's so funny. I love this teamwork. <laughs> Our property quartered off around the yard. Yeah. So then our dogs can run. Then our dogs can run free inside like a dog park. Yeah, which will be nice and 
So that is our plans moving forward um, after we're done. Uh, okay, hang on. Where, where are my gloves? Yeah. That, yeah, that side. Okay. Sure. Leg, go. So, like, imagine this width. What I'm concerned about is right to this pole is this section of width. squares and rectangles it's you know it's shapes and beauty and flow and okay <laughs> Just readjust what? Well, let's get just you can just pick up little spurts toward me. We gotta get this close to the top. Okay. Four together. One, two, three. Can you hold on? Hold it. That's not long enough. Just hold on. Okay, get the. Don't pull. You just. Okay, I think you can let go now. I need you to think so hold that right. And your hands making motions on the edges of what there you were crouched in the sand like a meteor. Obviously to have this as the shingles, but we don't even know how they'll do. I mean, I'm sure they'll do great, but if they're going to wilt over time. Okay, come. Good boy. Come on, come on, come on, Kai. Good boy. Look, he's right there. Yep. Hey, look at that. Dude, the size of him, Matt. Yep. Sea lions are really friendly with people usually. Like before they're gone.
Thank you. Whoa. What do you think of how it looks? I can't wait. That's a very beautiful thing. Racks on too, so each of these bamboo drying racks will slide in the shelf and wide. On this side, have there be a way we have the sticks going across. Mm. Awesome. Inspired by Lee Zichi and Kauai Pharmacy. We found it's really effective to pull this out and then we'll keep it somewhere away from the stove um, and use it as we need it. Your light beating down into my chest. You give me life, you give me happiness, you bring me warmth. Beating down into my chest. I don't want to look away or close my eyes. I'll stare until I'm blind. You don't need to walk down, just keep it on track. Perfect. Shake. <laughs> it feels pretty tough, yeah? A little bit more. A little bit more. More. A little bit more. That was good. That was so genuine right now. Awesome! We don't have to have that tarp anymore. Like this is this is a big step up. Yeah. And the whole thing is going to be covered. The whole thing. The whole thing. So now we can put a firewood underneath the deck. Have waterproof. Yay. I like that set. Okay, now go to this to the right side and block it from sliding. Okay. It's gonna slide, push it back. There we go. Hey, temperature. What do you think?
Yep. Okay, perfect timing because it just started snowing again and we just got the last one up. Hello. Things loose. Okay, hold on. Okay, go. Tying on that eye hook. That's good. Ooh, how's that? Sexy. <laughs> it's got to pump up like 20 feet. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I really like it a lot. <laughs> Do you like how I cut this radius with a chainsaw? I can get out. <laughs> oh, Yay! Look at that nice. So I went out in the forest and we had a couple of nice sized trunks from trees that we've already down getting ready. Yeah, yeah. Concrete form. Yeah, recycled tires. So we're just going to be taping these together with duct tape and foil tape and then eventually screwing. It's locked. <laughs> And now you can ride. Okay, definitely. How's the the difficulty of pedaling? Is it good for a workout? Okay, here it goes up the Pinos Altos, Tenerife. <laughs> up it's Tour de France. But the feedback is good. It's not too easy, not too hard, kind of in between. Yeah. Whew. How's the friction? Like, how's the the, the feedback, the difficulty level. It's good. It's just perfect, honestly. Yeah. Any more would be too hard, any less would be too easy. Yeah. Good. Oh my god, I'm already feeling it. <laughs> <laughs> Over the top. Ready? Yeah! <laughs> Thank you.
L5 tankless water heater that basically gets its heat from this propane tank down there. And then we have these seven gallon jugs of water up and then pumps it out to the shower head. The way that this motor gets power is from the lead acid batteries, car battery water. Boom, that flame is on in there now. Think about it. Oh my gosh. You like that? Yeah. You want it back further though? Yes. Doesn't stick your hand up like this. All that work worth it. Heck yeah. So what does this one have that the last one didn't have? Oh.
Okay. Okay, how's that? Looks good.
converting our food scraps, yard clippings, and other organic waste to living soil for the garden. So let me show you what's inside here. And I wanted to show you guys what food scraps, leftover food, seaweed, ash from the fire, and wood shavings looks like after about a year. Let's go into the, into the compost pile. So here's the bottom and it looks like nothing can be determined. You can't see seaweed, you can't see avocado peels, you can't see grapefruit and orange slices. You can't see anything. Look at the, from the side, I'll bring you guys up. You can see the different layers month by month of the compost and how it has cooked down really nicely. Everything else is looking good. Greens and browns, nitrogens, carbons, ash and the wood fibers are the carbons and the food is the nitrogens. Out on the nature walk, I got some dandelion greens, which will go perfect in a salad. You can't eat it by itself because it's really bitter, but it's really good for the liver. I was only able to get two dandelion roots because these are really hard to pull out of the out of the ground. Um, I didn't have the proper tool to do it, but I was able to get two. I got so many dandelions and I feel like I didn't even get that many, but after I pulled it out of my basket, I was like, holy moly, because I got this. And then these are the ones that I've already deflowered for my dandelion honey. that you guys know when we say we're getting swarmed by black flies while we're doing these projects this is what we're dealing with here look at this i stopped moving for 10 seconds and here's what it looks like these black flies they bite like mosquitoes yeah i think it will because people didn't see off camera we had a little bit of an issue and uh i got it all worked out yeah Let's see. <laughs> what do you think about this system versus the old pump? So much better. One, it looks nicer. It looks cleaner. And we don't have that backsplash 
piece of wood in here so i actually have the full sink now the old pump would like drool down would, like yeah i would like leak so then the water would fall in between and get water all over the floor and we'd have to have to have like a towel down there at all times mm -hmm. and this is just i mean it comes out it's so much nicer and if we're like filling up water this has like a little stopper right here so if we want to fill up like a pail or something we can just put it right there and then pump away it's just so much nicer nice rainwater Here's how this works. You gotta have a negative that goes to something metal that's staked in the ground as your negative. Then you gotta have the positive, and this is where I'll tie the actual rope and fence that will electrocute bears, humans, whoever touches it. So these two nipples here is energy going out to the fence. But this is energy coming in from the battery. And they just have it set up where you have a positive negative wire. So I happen to have some little alligator clips that I just spliced onto the positive negative. So now I can just take these alligator clips and clip them onto the car battery. That will send energy into the device and the black and red here will send energy out.
<laughs> All right, let me go find Nicole and uh, she can touch it in three different places to make sure that it's on. <laughs> no, I am not. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, if you can feel it. Yeah, I can feel it. You can? Uh-huh. What very, does it feel like? It's very faint. Um, I don't know, it's just like a pulse through your thumb and your index finger. It's just like it's pulsing, but it's not like, it's not like, ah, get it, you know, get back. But, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Bring it back, guys, bring it back, let's go. harvest like a couple and not hurt the plant. What do you think? I think it looks awesome. Thank you. Sure. <laughs> See low tide is like a whole different world, right? For sure. It's not even extreme low tide right now, but um, we got a couple clams, mussels, oysters. See, if they're female and they have eggs, we throw them back, but it's a good size one. So, also want to throw back the females of these guys. And that one's the right size to be legal, and it's the male. Six inches or bigger, so this one's a pretty big one. Okay, and this one is a female, so I can kind of tell by the shape, but then you turn them over and, and that's the way that the females look right there, so we're gonna throw the female back. Here you go, little miss. Go ahead, babies.
stay. Okay, come. Sit. Spin. Sit. Puma, good boy. Kai, good boy. You can do beets with a little bit of herbs and stuff, so. Cool, locally grown chives and chamomile that a friend in one of the towns nearby gifted us when we ran into them on the boat the other day. Yeah, they're really sweet. Yeah. I think that's pretty good. What do you think? I think it looks good. I think it's ready for some wood. Hey, how's the new kitchen setup going? Um, it's great. <laughs> I love it. I mean, it's still a hand pump, but it's way better than the other one. Like, look how much water comes out with just one pump. And that's a lot of water or a little water? It's like just enough water. I don't know how to explain it. It's really nice. I like it a lot. It just looks more sophisticated. <laughs> So this is raised bed number one, um, and it's mostly all of just our salad greens, lettuce mix, we have cabbage, kale, and then we have two um, spinaches popping up. Bed number two, we have our carrots, which are popping up everywhere. We have, so we have carrot, carrots, leeks, more carrots, leeks, and onions down at the end. And back here we have our potato patch, we have actually two potato patches. One is over there, but I'll show you that one here in a minute. We're hilling the potatoes. Um, so we're gonna add more logs and soil to build it up so we can get some more potatoes in there. If you guys have seen a couple episodes back, we are chitting these and this is what they look like. I am so impressed and so excited to see how amazing these are turning out and I can't wait to add more logs and to build it up. So this little section of the garden is kind of turning into my herb garden. Um, we have rosemary, we have mint, spearmint, chocolate mint, some more mint, and then we have pineapple mint. Different kinds of tomatoes growing here. I'm really hoping that these guys make it um, because Nicole said that I'll be on her good side forever if we get a huge crop of tomatoes this year. It's like gonna be her favorite thing.
This is just the leftover water after we boiled the prawn and the crab from the last catch, so it's like super bioavailable. My hat always catches the bird net. Just got a lot of microbes in it, so we're gonna pour that. It's like a juice. Then, got a bucket full of different kinds of seaweed that I just picked up when I was down the beach earlier. It's like a dozen different kinds of seaweed. And then all the shavings from the alder tree. And that hopefully will snuff out the smell because of the carbon in there and start the compost process and no bears will smell it. How's it look? Looks great. You're so beautiful. They taste so good. This is how I get from place to place. <laughs> it just carries me. Mm -hmm. Thanks, babe. No problem. Thanks for being my, what would it be, like a vehicle? You're like my munchkin, I'm like your giant. Yeah. This is how I get from place to place. <laughs> it just carries me. Mm -hmm. Thanks, babe. No problem. Thanks for being my, what would it be, like a vehicle? You're like my munchkin, I'm like your giant. Yeah.
right there. Yeah, look at those mountains behind you. in the direction that we want it to go, yeah. Okay, if you saw that, then that's, that gives me a lot of confidence. bugs have we been bit by today? A lot. It's just like a hard day today. Yeah. It's giving us our deck back. Yeah, you're sleeping out here. Okay, have fun. That's where the fire is going to go. Hot water goes in, cold water comes out, and it just circulates naturally with heat. so heavy that it'll hold itself down. I can get inside because I can do this. Oh, it's so relaxing. But this is the first time that, for some reason, getting it up on those blocks and those spacers, see it has to be at least four inches above the stove 
So we got it at five and a half inches above and this is the first time that I'm kind of excited about this. I'm starting to see myself in there taking a nice hot tub and it looks like a, like a train. Don't let it down, let's center it first. Babe, we're on the last step. Yes. Are you excited? Well, we don't have any water to fill it. So. Oh. <laughs> Why? Okay. Let's get it tight on there, babe. Hey babe, what do you think about the width? Skinnier, wider, what do you think? I think it looks great. That's it. Yeah, I think it's good. Pretending. Ooh, making strip that. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah, I think it's great. You like it? Mm-hmm. Should it be higher? Should it be lower? <laughs> I don't think you should go higher with it. If anything, go lower, but I think it's good where it's at. Okay. Got the concrete countertops curing that are three and a half inches thick with the chicken wire rebar in the middle. And uh, if you guys don't know really what I'm doing, you can see how once this cures, I'm gonna take all this wood out and then there'll be a hole there in the middle. That's where the walk will set. <sighs>
basically got the, the steamer bottom here. So we can do baozi and jiaozi. Awesome, I can't wait. In steamer bag. Realizing that it's different, it's so hot, like it needs water right away. It is working. You're all excited.
so steamy. So steamy. <laughs> so hot. Is that the kimchi you made? Yeah. How is it? It's really good. Have you seen the Pixar movie with the Baozi? Yeah. I don't think it's a movie, is it? I think it's just it's like, like a little, a little short. Yeah. Mm. How are they? So good. Let me give the folks out there a close up. I'm so good. Way better than the first time we did it. Not like way better, but the dough is definitely different. It's really good. Say, Han Hao. Han Hao. Chur. Tur. No, Chur. Tur. Han Hao Chur. Han Hao Chur. Jiga Baozi. Han Hao Chur. Oh, that looks good. Alright. Hey, flower girl. Oh. Welcome back to the wilderness. Thank you. I brought, I bring goodies. Like what? I got raspberries, currants, strawberries, rhubarb, kale, elderberries, and flowers to make a bouquet of flowers. Nice. Look at this belt, this fanny pack from the elven land. Thank you. You like it? I got to see a spin for us. Let's see. Wow. It's really nice. Is it functional? Yeah, it holds my my knife, my AirPods, my phone, and then normally the bear mace is in there, but I have it in here. Cool. So, yeah. Okay, so let's go uh, in there, unpack, and see what you got. totally see how this 
top valve is hot because hot rises. You can see the hot water pouring into the tub. And it's warm. <laughs> what are you doing? Trying to get the smoke to come in our faces because it gets rid of the mosquitoes. The people can't see how many mosquitoes are out there. It's so bad. It's like being in a beehive of mosquitoes. Yeah. <laughs> are you uh, mosquito free up there? Almost. I mean, I still see them hovering low. Okay, so behind your legs there are the two pipes. Of course, top one's hot, heat rises. This one is the hot one, and this one is the cold one. 150% from this angle, it looks like a hippie hot tub choo choo train. <laughs> oh, I bet. It is. <laughs> It'll heat up faster, and I want it now. So. <laughs> <laughs> How's the temp? Amazing. Feels good? Yeah. Oh my god, it's almost too hot. It is 90. No, no, it's going up. A hundred. A hundred exactly. That's crazy. These are the Nicole roses. Let me feed this. Can I get it in or out? Oh. oh my god, it feels so good! Did it work? Yeah, it feels so good. How is it? Oh, amazing. <laughs> it feels so good. Ooh. Are you just acting or does it really feel good? No, it feels really good. Yeah. It's perfect. What's gonna happen when I get in here? Is it gonna... Is it gonna totally overflow it? No. Not at all. No. You planned the water level perfect. I know. <laughs> it feels good, doesn't it? It's hot coming to my back. Really? Oh. So good. Right there. Yeah, you got it. The mosquitoes are pretty bad though around our face because yeah. it is pretty late and they come out really, like they come out intensely. What time is it right now? It's like nine o'clock. It is 9 p.m. Yeah. And I got mosquito net to put this whole thing in netting. Just, we just don't have it up yet. We are wondering if the smoke would clear them, but. We have some roses. Oh my gosh. How's your leg feel inside here? You're cut. It feels good. I feel like it's like disinfecting it even mm. more and cleaning it more. Cool. But it's good. I mean, just everybody knows you have been begging for a bath for a year and a half. I know. The newest addition <laughs> to... <laughs> you want to do it? No, you, you go. This is your birthday present. You got to do it. You can do it, babe. I don't know how this is going to open. I don't want to twist it. I'm scared. Yeah. You do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here it goes. <laughs> Yay! Some blackberry champagne. Mm -hmm. Yay! Yay! <laughs> okay, on three. One, two, three. Puma just got nailed. Sorry, Puma. No. Will it open?
obviously facing the... Keep moving because the horse flies are out <laughs> and mosquitoes still kind of get you, so... Yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks for the work. From seed. From How's it seed. look? That's amazing. We got enough solar power and battery life now. We can run the juicer and you can juice beet juice. Yeah. This is awesome. This is really exciting. These are ours. Yeah. So check it. it. Looks super nice. Well, Zooming ours in. Are much heavier because they're not 100% dried out yet. But nice. Zooming out. Chainsaw. Industrial, commercial, societal, profit. Chainsaw. <laughs> Got to pay the man. Yeah. DIY. You're in debt. Okay. Let's finish this bathroom. What do you think? It's going to be a very epic outhouse. <laughs> okay. It has to be on a hinge and you probably open it like this. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Come on out. And then All right. plug it back. this run move it Let's just pull it away in a second let's just see where it goes to <laughs> so fancy okay bye I'm going to church <laughs> why do you
you're in the oven, bro. It's looking good. Thanks. Don't pivot. Don't pivot. <laughs> You want to give me a little more of that last bucket of gravel sand mix? Tons. I bet it's a hundred pounds lighter. Whoa, I'm losing it. Okay, where? I can just drop it right here. Just watch yourself. Time out over. Oh. <laughs> I know that was annoying. Thank you. I don't even know how long it goes. It's been. Fall back. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. Hey, nice curls today. Thanks. I did the no heat curls overnight. It looks kind of like a, a different Nicole. Like, like, a, like a poodle Nicole? Alternate dimension Nicole. Yeah. This morning it was like... <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of tamed a little bit right now. I like it.
out of here. That means kiss. Where did you see your face? <laughs> Excellent work. Great job, my dear. <laughs> Good so far? size to bring it down so it's level. But it's up there. It's like five and a half, six inches of thick concrete.
Let me get it. It's in this box right here. Oh my god, look at the white this is in. Yeah. Good job, man. Here, let me zoom in. I feel like this one looks like a heart. <laughs> yeah, it does. We'll just like keep them like this in the box, piece of wood on top, and then keep the dirt on them, put them in a cool, dark part of the yurt, and they'll be good all winter. Yep. Okay, let's see what I'm Thanks. I'm gonna pick food for dinner. Okay. Babe, it looks awesome. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. It's super unprofessional because it's all reclaimed, mismatched pieces, but. No, I think it looks great. I mean, then there's like moss that's gonna grow on it and. It's already started. Yeah. this can go in there. Now sometimes the pizza might be bigger than the peel. So let's make sure there's a lip. Mm -hmm. We also have- Yeah, the... we don't want it to do it that exact size. Yeah, for sure. Now the hard work's done and we get to have fun doing the dome and cob. Ooh, cob. <laughs> Is pineapple? That's nice. Okay, our pizza will be ready in 10 minutes. Cool. Puma is attacking you. He is. What I could do is I could bring over some more sand. You definitely got an A today. You've exceeded the normal workload. You think this replenished what we've used so far? Yeah.
butts in pretty tight. And then when I put this on there, oh my God. I can't tell you how happy these joints right here make me. Hey. Hey. It's like the final two pieces, like my back. I think I'm going from 6'2 to like 5'8 right now, my height. <laughs> Ready for this? Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm ready. Ready? This is like really nice, fine sand with shells mixed in. <laughs> so, how do we do like that? And then get your nice looking feet in there and we'll mix it up. Ooh. <laughs> Dump some more in there. Uh. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, stop. Okay. So it's supposed to like make a ball and if we do that, it doesn't go flat again. Baseball bat, and you go like this. <laughs> Looks good. Looks good. And then what happens if you tear it in half? Sticky? Yeah. Because it should be sticky? Yep. <laughs> then we're going to like hold it together and we can like press it. Okay, let's just put one shape. more there. There you go. Thank you. I love like in this we can do that's cool. Yay. Almost done. Yep. That's what's supposed to happen, that that's okay. I know. Babe, can you climb your entire body in there? It didn't collapse on itself, so that's good. You did really good. Thanks. It's very nice. What do you think of the space as far as size goes? I think it's perfect. I mean, you could fit a couple pizzas in there, a pie, some cookies. Yeah. Um, food. You ready to cook right now or what? <laughs>
You know this is like um, hippie level 11, right? <laughs> to be barefoot in the rain in the forest making a, a mud oven so you can cook vegan pizza. <laughs> wearing, wearing a shirt that says spiritual gangster. <laughs> What do you think? I love it. So Jake just finished the arch. It looks great. I don't want to accidentally bump it, um, but it looks awesome. And I mean, come on, look at this. Look how good this looks. It looks like so clean and crisp and it looks so beautiful. We can shoot out really good, babe. Thanks. Getting jealous? What do you think? I like your choices. I like your choices. Thanks. It's almost like we're collaborating together. <gasps> wow. <laughs> <laughs> if I um, if I spin it, make sure I don't go up and down a lot, but can you get another mark? In the top. <laughs> it looks good. So it's our last layer, woohoo! And then we can eat pizza and bread and everything. Okay. 
How's it feel? It feels, it feels really good. It feels strong. This is the hottest we've had it so far. The, the top of the dome is over 800 degrees. And the coldest spot at the bottom is close to 300 degrees. And we did this over the course of a week. We slowly built the fire up and uh, started at like 200. Next day, 300. Next day, 400 stuff. I gotta stop talking now because the pizza's gonna burn. I gotta stay focused because it's cooking fast. It's steaming. <laughs> Looks great. Yeah, it does. Ooh. Love to take it inside. Ooh, ooh. What do you think? I think I'm really excited. <laughs> <laughs> In a wind and rainstorm. Yeah, it's crazy out there. Let's give it a try. It looks legit. It's so amazing. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. One bite, everybody knows the rules. <gasps> this is a 9 6. Oh, God. Honestly, not to brag, but I love it.
Yeah. It's so good. It's really good. Oh, yeah. Nice. They're perfect. What yeah. do you think? I mean, they could be a little bit crispier, but. But, I mean. It looks good. That'll keep all winter. For just sitting on. Just for being in there for one night. Oh, it's not bad. It's kind of sweet, right? Mm hmm. The sun will shine brightly on it. Yeah, the dogs are having a heyday. They love it. They're freaking loving it. <laughs> hey, one but of these can be our Christmas tree. <laughs> That's true. A living one. It could be a Charlie Brown Christmas tree. And we'll still put it on four foot stilts. Yeah, it is really nice back here. Super nice. We'll just have to give Do give him our yurt and we'll move into this <laughs> one. I was just gonna say <laughs> That's the best one yet. So now Nicole made some really nice bread and she uh, fried up the garlic and rosemary. So we're gonna throw that in there and uh, let it cook slow for the next what do you think, 20 minutes, 30 minutes? Yeah, about 40, 30, 45 minutes. And I've got this uh, cotton towel and I've just doused it with rainwater. And eventually we're gonna put um, our salt water inside there so it can be evaporating and making our salt which you saw in the last episode but for now we have this to go over the door so it adds some moisture for the bread Wow. Babe, the best yet.
Looks like we're building something very martial arty, like from Bagua, or something like religious and spiritual, like there's gonna be some kind of like alien sect coming here to beam us up, doesn't it? <laughs> Hold it strong for a second. Okay. <clears throat> can, right. you do that? can you do that, that move or not? <laughs> you got it? So yurt or calisthenics. This is bull crap. Yeah. It's supposed to be sunny today. Is there a puma up here? Oh my god. I mean, it did come back to the original point, so. That's good. I'm done with this one. I know, nice job. Thank you. If this was like a Narnia portal. Ooh. I was in a tropical climate and then a temperate climate. Wait, coconuts, wait, seaweed, mangoes, mushrooms. Little by little. Why don't you hold all stretch first? circle is a super strong shape now. Okay, so now we just have to kind of It's so cute. <laughs> what do you think of the bamboo ring? It's nice. Do you like our front porch? behind me. Does this feel like that's it's directly behind? Whoa. Probably that one right there, yeah. Okay. I feel like this should be a new Olympic sport, like setting the dome. Woohoo! <laughs> that's like the most trickiest part. Alright. <laughs>
tracking. You. Oh my gosh. Almost lost it. I should focus. <laughs> How's it going? I'm ready. As high as you can push it. If you can clear the lip. Okay, keep pulling. Alright, I've got it. Alright. It's closed in. Woohoo! Celebrate! <laughs> beautiful fireplace which I actually love a lot and I have some hot water on there for tea the hardy backer um, we're actually gonna cut in half and put that behind the stove it's a little too big as you can see and then we have a nice comfortable twin bed there This is what we have. This is what we're doing. Can you guys see this? We're going to build an outdoor shower right there. Put the new shower right here. So we've got to enclose this. It looks beautiful. Not as beautiful as you. Oh. What do you think? Is it gonna fit? Yes, I think so. Just uh, why don't you go to this end? And make sure these line up. Cause. And through there first. Mm -hmm. What? Mind. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, sure. one more. Right there. So. Uh, one more. In our open forest, we are creating walls. Yeah. But it's nice to have privacy. When we shower.
Let's see how it feels. Yeah. That's a nice, like... I think it's perfect size. Me too. And this thickness will also be great in the future for, like, shelving and things like that. <laughs> that too low? No, I think it's fine. Thank you for letting me stay dry in here. You're welcome. I made you some chai. Nice. Recycled cedar shingles. Almost wrapped. Nice. It's gonna look awesome. Finished up, let me show you guys what we got. Come on in. What powers this shower is down here. Check it out. We've got a pump, and this pump is powered by this car battery. And I charge up this car battery with a solar panel. Then the propane goes into this tankless water heater, and that's what heats the water instantly as it comes from the rainwater harvesting tank into this guy. So this tube right here, this goes from a rainwater harvesting tank that the roof of the wok stove that's next to the yurt, it gathers all that rainwater, and then it pulls it through this tube, through this pump, into this water heater, and then it comes up and goes into the shower. But this is not the permanent shower. We put it in this location because coming up, we're gonna run a copper pipe off the wood stove, and as the wood stove is on inside the yurt, it will heat up water that will come right up to this shower, eliminating the need for the propane tank. This is just temporary. Okay. <laughs> Is this even worth it? <laughs> Let's just do it, ready? I don't think either of us is gonna get in all the way. I think we're gonna get to here and we're gonna bail. Let's just try. Oh my gosh, it's so warm. <laughs> what are you laughing about? <laughs> You're scared? <laughs> It's so warm. Shut up. What is it? It's like two degrees outside right now, right? So this is rainwater been sitting here for a week. Okay. 
It's not too bad. It's not too bad. My grandmaster said when he used to do this. Oh, oh my gosh, you're a stud. Come on. Jake. I'm so impressed. <laughs> If you get one of us passes out, we're in big trouble. Okay. You ready to get out? Yeah. Okay, good job. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, oh my God. Mm. <laughs> I can't kiss you. Okay, get out of here. Here, tell. Woo! <laughs> Woo! You hear that, bears? <laughs> We're ready for you. Wait, they're sleeping right now. <laughs> yeah, don't wake them up. <laughs> That'd be bad. <laughs> we'll save this and do it again. There was no way that I was gonna go in that deep, but when you went in that deep, I couldn't let you be. I feel great. You do? Yeah. You're already getting that, like, <laughs> you get this weird high off of it. <laughs> okay, here we go. First of all, like. I'm already in. Oh my gosh. You're already beating me. Don't worry, when I get in, it'll go all the way up to your neck. Bam. <gasps> How much respect and street cred for Nicole right now? I'm super impressed. Oh, oh my gosh. Lock it in, watch. Yeah. Ready? Yeah, good job. I love you. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Hot shower, let's go. And you can tell the chimney's not going, so it's yeah. legit cold. It's two outside. Uh, I feel good. That was such a good idea. Yeah? Yeah. So, I mean, honestly, like, like seriously. That does help. I feel, I feel good. What? I don't know. Twirly. <laughs> Twirly? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. It's like a ball pit! It's a ball pit! Bro. Here comes the other one. Wow. Yeah. There's no COVID in this ball pit! <laughs> Alright, go, go, go.
forward here. Dump right now. Dump. Move back toward you. I don't know the straight. Not not dump forward. Good. Go. Make it rain.
it's like fun time. He's so excited. He was getting like pummeled in the face and he's just like <laughs> smiling. It's so funny. Yeah. And then on top of this will be fresh compost. So you can see how the wheelbarrow here has all these seasoned wood chips that have been, you know, pulpifying for about a year. And I'm going to finish spreading those seasoned wood chips and then I'm going to lay fresh compost down and then we're ready to plant. So this is what will be underneath the fresh compost. I'll now spread about a 12 inch layer of fresh compost, maybe 10 inches. And that I'll be doing. Beets are one of my faves. I love them so much. So super excited to get these going. Um, and I have five different varieties of carrots because Jake and I absolutely love carrots as well. Okay. This is the Jake and Nicole special sunchoke soil. Save the rest plant in the second raised bed of these. Uh, why don't you just save the purple ones then? So the goal is to have it fill up this way, but also have it fill down, and then we'll keep filling this in. And
pine wood chips. Nice wood chips, baby. These are in them. This entire bed is kind of brought to you by Baker Creek Seed Company because look at all the Baker Creeks. Yeah. We uh, happen to have enough seedlings to fill it up. I think so. Yeah. These two guys and give them some space to really grow for it. Well, these are the same. Yes, I think that row should go like right there. We're starting our family while attempting to get off the grid and live harmoniously with nature. We're not there yet but make a huge leap forward in this episode. Here's a glimpse of our off-grid life. You know what I like doing? Yeah. Is planting in seeds in the rain. I feel like it's um, just good for the seeds and doing all the work for me.
Wow. What do you think? I think it's beautiful. It is be not as beautiful as you. But <laughs> it's pretty beautiful. Lettuce tacos. Now, isn't that a pretty? I'm gonna mix it. Is that getting your baby kicking? Thank you. Wow. You're welcome. I didn't eat that one. Well, here. You um, need extra nutrients. That's for you. Thanks. Again. <laughs> really? They're pretty good looking. Well, here is our next project all over the dock. <laughs> it's tough, that off-grid life, because uh, it's just a tough location, our home, to deliver stuff to if anything comes in. So we had to hand bomb it off, and then we have to puff all this up to come already. Yep. It's all the pieces. Stay tuned to see what the heck this is. <laughs> What is a bunkie? A bunkie is a mini cabin. And we're going to put up this um, mini cabin called a bunkie, which is basically like tongue and groove, right? Yeah, so it's a tongue and groove structure that we're gonna put together. We found this cool company called Sawmill Structures. You guys can look them up on Instagram or their site is all down below in the description. And this is their harvest model, which is just one floor. And we're gonna build it out to be a master bedroom 
cottage yeah. Pinterest witches style in the forest, yeah. right? It's so cute. I was so excited to receive it and to see how they did the door and the windows. It's just so cute. I love it. And their Instagram is really awesome too. Um, it gives me inspiration. So. And then we actually got a second one from Sawmill Structures, a second bunkie called the Hillcrest Loft. Yeah, the Hillcrest Loft because it has a loft in it. But let's stop talking and like get back to work. All right. <laughs> Foundation. Wait. Ooh, I like it. Dun, da, da, da. Our bedroom. I'm throwing a grenade at you. Ready? Like I'm grabbing stuff and I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> Load up. Load up. Whoa, Ooh. Kai's the balance king today. Puma, what happened to your balance reputation? Load up, let's go. Oh, he lost his confidence. Come on, load up. There you go, you did it. Thank you, blue boys. Hey bear!
There's a couple there. Like Forrest Gump when he pulled the his first catch and it was like four. And the guy's like, a couple more, you can have yourself a cocktail. <laughs> So, fishing licenses, a couple traps for each of us. You only have a certain amount of day. And we got like a little low amount, but enough to feed the fam for a few days. Yeah. See how where my thumbs are? They're different, right? So this right thumb here, this is male, and this one is female. You can see the difference. And we're gonna put her back so she can have babies. <laughs> All right, check it out. There she goes. Flip them back over again. Cool. So we get four crab. Yay. You're really cleaning each one off. You are a stud and a half. Definitely a stud egg. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, that's the exact gap that we're short. Does this look promising? Uh, I don't know. What does it look sketch? <laughs> I have noticed uh, my shoulders are far less flexible now than they used to be. Looks really cool, babe. Does it? Yeah, so cozy. It's just protecting it from the yurt. Wow. 
What do you think? I think it's good. And then we have a couple of burlap bags with like 25 of regular strawberries. How are you doing on your uh, on your depth? You know how deep to plant and stuff? That's pretty good. Okay, so now it is time for me to linseed oil the outside of the bunkie. <laughs> Our bear is going to come by and uh, lick the counters for the linseed oil. I don't know. <laughs> well, let's scrape it. Looks good. Our tomato bag. One of them. Any flowers you see here, pinch the flowers off without hurting the plant. Raindrops are falling on my head. You know that song? Yeah. Like I just died today. Oh, I love really? this song. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. They're a great um, example for Tai Chi, you know, the softness is strength and it's because the palm tree yields mm -hmm. the storm that it survives. So we've got the hardy variety 
and if you notice the hardy variety doesn't have any fuzz and we have the fuzzy variety and we're gonna intermix them. We've got two males. Very delicate, just like grapes. So good. I don't even feel like I'm at the same property. Like this adds something so special. Wait till they grow up and take over the whole thing and there's kiwis hanging off. This is so beautiful, babe. here to do a picnic and also talk about our big announcement that we have. A big announcement? A big announcement. Babe, I'm pregnant. <laughs> what? Is that right there? Yeah. Can you hear it? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to do this with anybody else because if anything happens to you, it's going to be chaos. <laughs> so please stay healthy, <laughs> stay positive, and stay in my life because you're the best part.
Ready? Nice job. Good work, babe. Is it fun doing this together when you have a, a blue wolf audience there? <laughs> yeah. It's like he's sniffing the air for bears or cougars. So violent. Oh. These are our wispy bundles. Um, we use them to help us start the fire in the morning. It's kind of like a little kindling bundle or whatever. Well, these are really nice. And I've, over the years, this is my third year doing it and I've, this is technique has worked the best, so. Finished door, what do you think? Oh, I like it. Can I paint it blue? You can do it. You keep I'm everything blue. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. It was a joke. <laughs> How does that look from your 
angle there. It looks good. It looks like it's on fire. Do we need a chimney or is it going to be good with all the gaps I left? No, I think it looks fine. Cool. There's a lot of smoke. And I've done a few little peeks off camera. <gasps> How dare you? <laughs> now, everything is an experiment from leaving the skin on to the size I cut them to the flavorings to the curing process to all of it. I probably shouldn't have brushed my teeth. What? Just brushed my teeth. <laughs> oh my god. What? Just so good. Describe. I don't know how to describe it. It's smoky, it's not too fishy, but you have like that caramelized seasoning over it. And save the skin for the dog. Okay. Mmm. Good job, man. But it worked, right? Like that tastes professional. Yeah, it tastes really good. Thanks. See ya. <laughs> okay, hold on, let me think about this. So, I mean, it's kind of cool to have different shapes versus just like facing this way, facing this way, facing this way. Yeah, I guess we could do that. We'll do it at an angle versus like just like like the front door being here. You know, we'll angle it. We'll uh, we'll see what we can do here.
are so wet, they're so easy to, to draw. Yeah, I'm gonna take this too and die with them. You are. Level them up there. It fits. Kai, he's trying. so afraid. So, we're what, gonna, you get think we're gonna get it done today? Yeah, I think so. There's three of us. Jonathan's on his way over, so we're gonna put it up. But this is also gonna be a um, a guest room for we have some family and friends coming. Yeah. Over the next couple months, and they're gonna stay in here. Yeah, so gotta get it done. Let's do it. So project lead Nicole. Where does this one go? Like this? Yeah. I feel like the window needs to be like this. Yeah. So tell me, do you think that this lines up? And if you can ask to get do the slot.
pass me the window, Juliet. Alright. What a spacious, nice level. It's actually really nice up here. There's the below. So you go up the first time. Dare I? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hey, you clean them off. It looks real good. Hey, so how are the pallet stairs working out for you? Great, they actually look really nice. Obviously, this isn't gonna be the permanent stairs. We're actually gonna build like a really nice deck. They'll wrap around, connect to the hippie hot tub deck. Um, but for right now, I think they work really great and they are solid. <laughs> How's the stove working out? It's good. It's really pumping off some heat. So we went with the stand instead of mounting it to the wall, which is makes it look even more adorable. So I'm still working on the layout of everything. I just kind of want to make it a little more cozy for our guests that's staying here. So here I kind of just put a bunch of pillows next to the fire, which is, I guess, like the living room sitting area. Um, but eventually this will be, I think, more of the kitchen, like kitchenette area where I'll have a sink, a little stove top and a countertop so I can make my dyes. Um, and then the living room area, I think will be on that side, but for now it works. Um, we just have some nice table stands and stuff here for now, just to make it nice and cute and cozy. I also added my own little window pole like that. Makes it easier. And then I have my dehydrated flowers that I dehydrated over the summer, um, which I thought made it look really cute. And then my, probably one of my favorite things that I have in here is my broomstick. <laughs> I haven't used it yet, but I mean, come on, look at this, right? I feel like I could hop on and just go. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Another feature I really love about this bunkie is these windows in the front because you have a beautiful view of the mountains and the more trees that we clear, the more of the mountain that you'll see. So it's just very, very stunning and it lets in a lot of light. And I mean, it just looks really nice. With our bedroom bunkie, we have the stove, I think a little too high. So we have to drop that down. So this being low, I think helps 
uh, heat up the, the floorboards a little bit easier, and then the heat rises, so it's really nice. Yeah. It's like your own fort up there, babe. I know. Bye. <laughs> it is cute up here. Yeah, so we put a, a full-size mattress up here. I think you can actually fit a queen-size mattress is what they say. Um, so we just have a full up here. We don't need anything, you know, too big. Um, so right now it's just the mattress, pillows, blankets for our guests. And then you have this really cute window. Yeah, it's really nice up here. If only there was a place we can go that would be in nature. If only there was a place we can go that would be in a radically different climate, giving us access to completely different foods, flora, and fauna than we have here at Como Rebi. If only there was a place we can go that we owned a sort of bug out location and if only we could be free of oil and gas and travel between these two worlds using only nature the ocean the wind where are we this is our tropical bug out property 